Hello and welcome to another reading from the book In Heavenly Places, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Kept from the Evil, October 31st. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. John 17 verse 15 Those whose business makes it necessary for them to come in contact with worldly men should stand constantly on guard, keeping strict watch over themselves and praying always, lest the enemy take them unawares. To those of his followers who are of necessity compelled to deal with worldlings, God gives grace according to their need. If they stand ever on guard, special wisdom will be given them when they are obliged to be in the company of those who do not respect the Lord Jesus Christ. Their every transaction is to reveal the fact that they are Christians. They are to be kind and courteous in all that they say and do, showing that they are under the control and discipline of God, that they are serving the Lord Jesus Christ. The followers of Christ are to be separate from the world in principles and interests, but they are not to isolate themselves from the world. As thou hast sent me into the world, Christ said, even so have I sent them into the world. Verse 18 We are not to withdraw ourselves from the world in order to escape persecution. We are to abide among men, that the savour of divine love may be as salt to preserve the world from corruption. Hearts that respond to the influence of the Holy Spirit are the channels through which God's blessings flow. Were those who serve God removed from the earth and His Spirit withdrawn from among men, this earth would be left to desolation and destruction. Though the wicked know it not, they owe even the blessings of this life to the presence in this world of God's people, whom they despise and oppress. Following the instruction of Christ brings the sanctification of the Holy Spirit and this enables men and women to reveal the fragrance and the saving grace of the truth. Those who study the word of God and day by day receive instruction from Christ bear the stamp of heaven's principles. A high, holy influence goes forth from them. A helpful atmosphere surrounds their souls. The pure, holy, elevated principles that they follow enable them to bear a living testimony to the power of divine grace. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book In Heavenly Places. God bless you.